first thing that I realized that was huge for me was not to think about what you want to be when you grow up, grow up, but what you want to do. Because the be part happens almost immediately. Like you go to college and you might spend four years and now you are that, whatever it is, a nurse, a writer, a journalist, uh, whatever it is, you're that. Now you start the rest of your life, you know? And so even if it's a doctor, you might spend four more, eight more years, but now you're a doctor. Okay, great but you have to do something every day forever. And so thinking about what you want to actually spend your days doing is a much better way to kind of career plan than to find a title and want to be that thing. So what I do, um, most urban planners work in cities, counties, or for the state. Uh, and they are kind of architects on a city scale. So all of the things that dictate where commercial uh, land uses can be or residential or municipal buildings, what, how big, tall, wide, et cetera, buildings can be in a city is dictated or at least managed by urban planners. Um, but what I do in the private sector is I essentially become the counterpart to that on the other side of development. So the majority of our clients are developers that I work with anyway. Um, so if it's a new residential community, I do the work that happens to make that a reality before you see construction. So when it's still a farm or some that empty lot that's been in town forever or whatever it is, uh, there are about two years of work that goes into making that goes into making that something bigger and better before anybody sees anything happening. But I also do um, smaller stuff. So if a commercial, if a restaurant wants to have a patio, there's a lot of permitting and, and entitlement that happens for that. I handle that for them as well. So it's a wide range. It ends up at the end of the day as like a project manager for development. Right? But at the end of the day, you have this kind of thing that you were a part of that gets created and that's kind of fun. I had wanted to be an architect my whole life. Eventually, when I got to college, I thought I wanted to do that still. And then I learned what it actually meant to be an architect. Like, okay, then I'm an architect. What, do, what does an architect really do? And everybody would say, oh, they design houses or buildings. But, but the vast majority of architects draw really basic things like gas stations over and over again, or the same commercial office or renovate an office and it's only what the client wants and nothing cool because they don't have a budget. And when I started thinking about that, it really changed the direction that I went. Um, and then I actually didn't even go to college right away. At that point, I decided to uh, just take time off and have fun. I spent five years before I went back to school and I wouldn't trade those five years for the world. So my degree was in urban planning and I had to have an internship. Um, my, I had thrown a very large party at my house and uh, a friend was there and we're sitting outside and, and uh, she was, so what, what are you, what are you even doing? What is, what is, we were a friend through a friend that wasn't in school and I was like, oh, I'm at ASU. And she's like, you're kidding. What, uh, most people didn't think that because I was at least five years older than everybody else who was at school. And uh, I said, oh, I'm in urban planning. And she said, oh, we're looking for an intern for urban planning. And I was like, what? Who's we? What do you do? Turned out she was an, an attorney and worked at a law firm. And it, before that, I didn't even know that urban planners worked at law firms. And I said, well, that sounds great. I need an internship right now. So it was kind of you know, I guess coincidence. And I ended up at an internship at this law firm, Rose Law Group, where I work now. And, um, and that was it. I was an intern, graduated. I was already actually employed full time before I graduated. And I've been there um, since 2006, technically 2005. I graduated in 2006. I left in, I think it was 2010 to 2012 ish. Um, we started, I started a, an internet startup company. We also started um, a uh, photo booth company and we had a special education contracting company all at the same time. Wow. When you're young, which everybody says, oh, you're young, do whatever, but it's so true. You can do anything, the, literally anything in the world. You can just choose to do it, especially now when there are so many ways to make it happen. 
um, for my blog, um, I've had people approach me and say, hey, I'm doing this, planning this trip throughout like Scandinavia. Would you want to sponsor me? Here are the other sponsors I've lined up. Here's what we're going to do. And we're going to post it all on social media. And I say no, because I don't, that's not what I'm doing is sponsoring people on that. But I'm amazed that somebody who really is just some kid from somewhere who's lined up sponsors, they're getting their whole trip paid for. I mean, there, there's so much you can do. You just decide to do it and you do it. Okay. Sounds great. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.